Dave, you've been to many air shows. What would you find is unique to this air show, and what does it pretend to the future for the aerospace industry? Well, Tim, what makes this air show unique is the size of it, the vari variability of the number of products that are displayed, helicopters, commercial airplane, military. So you have everybody here for basically the week. So it's a great opportunity for everybody in the industry to get together, meet with their suppliers, meet with their OEMs. So for the future right now, if you look, it's great. I mean, commercial aviation is soaring number of, of general aviation aircraft are beginning to pick up, particularly the high end, so the market's really beginning to look good. Great, great. What are some of the uh, particular challenges for the industry that you see P uh, Siemens technology could offer solutions? Yeah, well I think we are uniquely positioned, Tim, with our product family. Part of the biggest challenge for uh, aerospace companies today is the ability to deliver on those commitments, meeting cost, schedule, and the technical performance of the product. Everybody today is struggling with that, particularly with the complexity of the systems. As they get more and more complex, it's harder and harder to do that. And I think we offer a unique set of tools, everything from the systems engineering requirements management up front, through that design phase, all the way through manufacturing, and then to the aftermarket to be able to help support those products. You know, aerospace products are unique. They're around for you know, decades com compared to most commercial products. So you know, we have products today that are flying that are 70, 80 years old. Interesting. Um, it seems like a lot of the prime OEMs are concerned about the supply chain. Is it going to be responsive to the demand, particularly in the commercial area? Is that an area where Siemens technology could help? Well, sure. I think part of the challenges with managing suppliers really is managing the flow of information to suppliers. Uh, in, in any aerospace program, everybody's got significant suppliers. To risk sharing partners that are doing design for the, for the product, to even people that you're just buying standard parts from. But it doesn't matter on an airplane or a missile or a helicopter. If you're missing one $1 part, you can't deliver that product. So that ability to manage that supply chain information, both from a design perspective, change com management, configuration management perspective, is really critical. And we have a tremendously great suite for being able to do that. Siemens has made a number of acquisitions that are particularly yeah. well positioned for the aerospace industry. Could you comment a little bit on how you see them fitting into the overall business strategy? Right, well, you know, I think we've made a couple of them within PL recently that have been really terrific acquisitions for aerospace. Uh, the Vistagy, so when we acquired Vistagy with the FiberSim, SynchroFit, uh, their QPE, their quality planning uh, environment tool, allows us now to integrate the advantages of composite materials more fully but from a design perspective and a manufacturing and even from a field and service perspective. And then you combine that with the LMS acquisition from a behavioral modeling, systems engineering, they, they bring in a vast amount of knowledge in specifically to the aerospace industry, particularly the aircraft business. On the military side, the, we've got an aging fleet worldwide and the need to try to service this fleet uh, while stay, staying within a very constrained budgets. I, is there a potential application of Siemens technology there? Well, sure. As a matter of fact, the biggest challenge in those legacy programs like that is managing the configuration of all these articles. They've been out in the field for a number of years. What is the condition of the asset? Uh, what is the maintenance that's got to be performed on it? What kind of overhaul work? Right now, a number of aircraft are going through service life extension programs, particularly in the States. Uh, the F-16, the A-10, for example, are programs where you need to be able to take that information, design now modifications to that new hardware for it, in many cases, the OEMs for the, that original equipment are long since gone. So our technology really does bring a lot to bear on being able to ma manage those assets for those go-forward plans. Terrific. Well, I think it's fair to say the industry has a very bright future and Siemens has a very bright future in this industry. Oh, absolutely. I think we have the ability to help our customers deliver that consistent program execution excellence that's required by the aerospace industry. Okay. Thank you, Dave.